everyone. Welcome to Crafts by the Bow. I'm hoping Facebook is going through right now. Um, it's, it's been a little bit glitchy, so I'm, I wasn't quite sure, but I think it looks like we're live. Just let me turn that camera a little bit. See if that makes it look a bit straighter. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, that's wobbly the wrong way. Let's try the other way. I'm going to go back that way. It's a little bit of a time delay as well. So, just trying to get this straight before we start. Let's move my glasses. Oh, that looks better, I think. Uh, just go that way a little bit. Okay, looks like looks like we're working. Yay! Well, welcome back and Happy New Year. I really missed our Facebook Lives during December uh, and I'm, I'm so glad that we're back to doing them now for January. And tonight's Facebook Live is just a little bit different. I want to walk you through the new catalogues. I'm not going to spend too long showing you every single stamp set or every single item. To be really honest, I don't have much of the new catalogue yet. Because I was going to be away in December, I decided not to order much. And uh, Hi Janet, hi Judy, hi Jane, Happy New Year ladies. Yeah, so I don't have much from the catalogue, I was just saying at the moment. Um, just because I didn't want to order it while we were away in the UK and have it sitting on the doorstep until we got home. But I will show you a couple of things that I've made using my um, little few supplies that I've got right now and a couple of swap cards that I've got from my Silver Sisters group that I belong to. So, oh, oh it's so nice to see you ladies. I've, I've really missed doing the lives and chatting. I had a class on Saturday when we did our postponed Christmas social and it was just so good to craft with people. So let, I, I'm gonna look through the book. I'll show you a few bits. I have written a few things down and I did have another catalog that I actually took on the plane with me and I scribbled lots of ideas in it. So I won't show you that one. I'll actually show you one that you know makes some sense. So as always, this mini catalog isn't oh yeah that was a cold door step Jane <laughs> especially when it was minus 46 last week <laughs> uh, the mini catalogues are usually about five six months um, and we get this springtime one and then we get the one in the summertime which we we all call the holiday catalog still and then our annual catalog so this runs alongside the annual catalog and Let's find. There's always the little piece um, from Sarah Douglas, who's the daughter of Shelley, who co-founded the company. There's always just a, a nice little piece to share and things in there. And let's see. So this you've probably seen in the last catalog because it's the kits that were online. And there is now a new kit and I meant to um, print out, I wonder if I did, no, I don't think I did. I meant to print out a picture of it. I did put it on my blog yesterday and on my Facebook. It's the, um, like the birthday candles one, which looks really nice. I think it's a $26 um, set and uh, it looks really, really nice. So I'm going to be buying that one and I think I might do a live so anybody who's got that kit, we can all get together and craft online. So, oh, Janet, thank you for missing me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got together, but I'm sure you still had a nice time together. And even though I wasn't there. Okay. Now, one thing I have noted about paper pumpkin is this is the time when I always buy mine. I always buy it in a celebration period. And like last year, we're having two celebration times a couple of months now and a couple of months in the summer and the reason I buy it now is because you get celebration items on it so 
the rest of the year, you know, you can pay as you go for $30, you can buy a three month subscription, but you don't get anything extra on it. Whereas now, because every time you spend $60, you get a free gift, it means that if you get the three months, you're going to get one free gift. If you get six months, you get two level ones or one level two gift. And I'll show you what they are later. Or if you get 12 months, you get five level one gifts. Now, back in the summer, I bought a six month one. So I got the two level ones. And this time I'll probably do the same. I'll buy a six month one. It's better to buy the 12 months because you actually get a whole month's free. Um, and the five level ones, but I've got too long a wish list <laughs> to, to buy that as well at the moment. But but I've got February as well, so shh, might be buying it in February. Okay, now I don't have this suite. This is like the Valentine's suite. And what I do like is they've carried on doing this where we have just one number. And instead of buying all of these things separately, you just put the one number down and you get everything. Now, you still get the 10% off for buying the bundle here, but you don't get any extra off. It's not like it saves you a lot of money. It just means that you only have to put one code in. So, but it's really pretty paper. I think I might buy the paper and I might use that for my Valentine's for school. So it's really, you know, it's really quite sweet. I have seen these little boxes. I don't have them. But I've noticed that other demonstrators are putting like little snack size candies in. Um, I wondered about getting them for preschool and because we're peanut free, I thought I might put raisins or erasers and stickers and things like that in. Let me see how big they are. Three and a half by two and a half by five eighths of an inch. And they say they're food safe. So that's quite a nice little size. So I think I might get those ones and this paper for school. I might even put the paper on top of the box and use that as their whole Valentine's item. Okay. So this is just the stamp set from the previous page, just shown a little bit bigger. Um, and here's one of those boxes. Looks like they've punched out with one of the little dies, these little hearts, and put a piece of acetate behind maybe, so that the candies don't fall out. So that's quite nice. Uh, I don't have this yet, but I, I've seen a lot of demonstrators using it. It's like the hybrid embossing folder. So it embosses and you can put a die on at the same time and it will cut out that heart shape. So I've seen a lot on Pinterest about that, but I don't have one. So I'm sure it's wonderful, but I can't, I can't swear that it is at the moment. Uh, and this little gumball machine, I haven't seen anybody make that yet. Um, but I, I did listen to one of the Stampin' Up! Leaders discussions and they were saying that little skittles fit inside it. So you don't have to use the little frosty beads. You can use skittles in there. So I have ordered this one. Uh, it hasn't come yet. It was due yesterday, uh, but it hasn't come and now it's due tomorrow. And I got this because I thought the kids would get a kick out of this, these little robots. So. Okay, now this is one of the big suites, like the mega suites, where you get two sets of stamps and dies if you want, two bundles. Now I've ordered, let me just find it, I've ordered part of this. I didn't want to have the dies. I've got so many flower sets where you have the dies and I've maybe used them once or twice. So I haven't bought the dies, but I have bought the stamps and I played about with them. Um, when I was looking at one of my um, swap cards and in the end I didn't go with that but let me just see so I'm sure it's in here so I might do it as a Facebook live even and I was just playing around with stamping the um, tulips and you stamp in two colors you stamp this one in the lighter color and this one in the dark um, so I'm still sort of debating on that and I was thinking to do this card with it, this little flap card that I've made before, but you know, it's it's a nice card. I like it. So I'm sort of considering that. So it would go like this. Um, but I haven't done any more about it than that. <laughs> I just stamped that one little piece. Um, I 
don't have the paper or anything, but I do have the butterflies. Let me look. See where I've hidden those. So they're like a, a brushed brass. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Um, different sizes. Let's find a, a ruler. Like I've only got the world's biggest ruler in front of me. So let's just see. The, the biggest ones are about a quarter of an inch. And the other ones are mm, about three eighths of an inch wide. So, so I do have those. Uh, I don't have the paper or anything yet. Oops, yet. I might be getting them. I do love these dies. I'm not as keen on the stamps themselves. Uh, I've seen some really pretty cards made with them already, but I do love the dies and I, I like a standalone die. So that one, uh, I, I'm, I might be tempted by getting just the dies for that one. Now this one you've probably seen a lot. Um, I've seen it a lot on Pinterest, on uh, Google, lots of different ideas for it, mainly making shaker cards and rainbows. And it reminds me of the paper pumpkin that we had, I think it was last year. Um, and often our stamp sets, if we have a paper pumpkin and it's really popular, our stamp sets may go along the same theme in a, in a future catalogue. And I think this is one of the ones that does. So that's pretty cute. And in the celebration, there's a set of paper that goes with that. So I'll show you that too. This little set, um, it coordinates with that deer punch from Christmas. And I use that punch a lot. So it's got another little deer on here, just slightly different spots on it. Um, so that's a possibility on my list, just because I've got the matching punch. I have bought these sparkle and shine sequins and I actually had those out yesterday and now can't see where I put them. But they're like a little iridescent and silver and white in them. So this is a very popular little set with the, um, the punch to make the little um, ladybirds, the ladybugs. Sorry, I still call them ladybirds. I have to remember, North American, we don't. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Uh, I've seen a lot of people cut out the wings and use them as leaves behind sort of a, a floral embellishment and they've just cut them out, punched them out in different greens and popped it behind a flower. So that's quite versatile for punch art as well. Um, if you watch in the next few weeks, there will be tons of demonstrators who do punch art and they will make the most fantastic pictures with these kind of things. Things that I would never even think of, but they will be making some beautiful stuff. Um, you know, it, it will turn into something like the Taj Mahal and uh, I would never have seen it. But once they make it, you think, wow, I could use that a lot. So, and then there's this nice little set, almost looks like watercolour on a canvas. Um, I like the sentiments in that one. I'd probably use the sentiments more than the, the stamps. So, now this is another really popular suite at the moment. I have the Design Sales paper and that came before Christmas. And I did show that in my little quick unboxing. Let me just see. And... Uh, I, I've been using this paper a lot, so I've uh, made a set of swap cards with it. I've made um, some cards. I'm going to be in a, a big team event on Saturday for my Silver Sisters group, and all our teams are invited. And I've made a shaker card using this paper. You know that um, really versatile shaker card that I made a lot last year for Christmas and then for birthdays? Well, I've made a shaker card with this one. It's one of the speciality papers, so one side is always foiled and uh, one side is just a pattern. And I've used this one for the team event and the cranes. Uh, but it's very, very pretty paper. I know I'll be buying more of the paper. I haven't ordered the stamps, again, because I just wanted a sampling of things to start with. So I don't have any of the stamps, but I do have these polished dots. And again, I've used those a lot. Well, you can tell I don't have many left. And it says they're Calypso Coral, 
but they're actually a very, very pale. I've used them with pinks. Um, it's not really an orange. It's more of a more of a pinky colour to me. And then the other ones are clear. And they're in two sizes. I've only got a few of the small ones left and then just the big ones. But uh, they're a very, very shiny, very nice one. I like those. And I do have the ribbon on order. When the catalogue first went live, the ribbon was still on back order, but it is in at the moment. I think it's still available. So I do have the ribbon, but it hasn't arrived yet. Ooh, that's a sequin just popped out from somewhere. And again, there's just a, a larger picture of the stamps that will go with that. And then something that we all need this week, a nice beachy theme. My word, last week when it was minus 40s with the wind chill, I would have given anything to be in a nice warm beachy scene. Oof, it was chilly. Now this little set is another bundle with a punch. I've ordered just the punch because I think you see the, the two different shapes. I think I'll use those a lot for layering behind uh, sentiments, put in with maybe some other floral aspects that I stamp and fussy cut out. I didn't so much want this stamp set yet, but you can bet your life because I've bought that next week, I'll see something with these stamps and think, you know, I can't live without it. And I should have bought it with the 10% off and bought it as a bundle. But there we go. That's, that's always what happens to me. <laughs> but a nice, cute little Easter set. I love this, just like my daughter's bunny in Ontario. Uh, little Lenny, who's a house bunny. And then this one is sort of a gardening theme. It's like a greenhouse. And I've seen this one cut, um, cut out with the dies and then vellum put behind this piece so that it, it looks almost like you're looking through glass or even through an acetate window sheet. So that's quite pretty. I haven't seen any in real life though. I've only seen a few on Pinterest. And again, this one, I actually put, it's similar to a past paper pumpkin. Remember we had that one that was called Whatever the Weather? Um, I don't think it was this past year. Might have been the year before. Oh, yes, please. I'd love the beach, Jane. You had minus 37 with wind? Oh, wow. Oh, I, I'm not coming to Ontario just yet. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that nice sunshine. <laughs> so, so this one, it reminds me of that paper pumpkin where you had the boots and uh, the flowers. So if you still have that stamp set, I don't know, but it, it might coordinate with this as well. You might be able to use both together. So... And then a little kite set. I don't think I've ever seen a, a kite stamp while I've been at Stampin' Up. And I've been with Stampin' Up for just over five years, but I don't think I've seen a kite or I haven't remembered one anyway. Okay. Now this set, I wasn't so drawn by all the leaves until I saw a couple of demonstrators make the cards and then I wished I'd ordered it. I do like these little faux sea glass pieces. Uh, whenever I've been on vacation, um, if we've been to uh, Washington State or Oregon, I always go and collect as much sea glass as I can find. I have a little collection downstairs and uh, I think that's really cute. I love this vellum. It's got designs on and it already has like a newsprint on some of it and a script and I'm going to be making more journals this year and I'm using this for my journals and then this uh, ribbon it's like the pink ribbon that blushing bride, bride ribbon that we had at Christmas um, but it's wider and it says in the catalogue there's 10 yards there isn't there's only five yards on it this is a misprint that um, Stamping Up did know about, but the catalogues were already printed. And you can see when it arrives, it says it's five yards. So if you're buying it, just bear in mind that there isn't 10 yards on it. It's only five yards. And I have used this on one of my cards and you might have seen it because I posted it last week. It's this, it frays so beautifully and so evenly. And it's much easier to fray than the pink. You 
literally just pull a piece like this and then it frays and what I did because I've made a set of cards using this I've kept this and I'm going to use it just to make bows and things because it still looks really pretty when it's tied in a bow just that piece it's almost like a fluffy baker's twine so I like that a lot okay has anybody got any of these things from the catalogue yet? Uh, oh, I know about that change of temperature, Jane. Here it was plus three today, but with the wind chill, I think it was feeling like minus five. But we went from minus 46 last week to plus three today. And the roads are slushy and it's dirty snow. And oh, I, I don't know which is worse, having the, the cold and the dry snow or this slush that will now go icy overnight. Uh, you're still making your wish list, Judy? Oh, if it's like my wish list, I needed something like a toilet roll to write it on. <laughs> There's that many things. A piece of paper wasn't long enough. <laughs> now, this is my absolute favorite in the whole catalog. It's, uh, as soon as I opened the catalog, I know I've got a lot of floral stamps, but I opened this and I just loved it. I fell in love with this and the fonts. And the card I showed you a little while ago, that actually uses this and this um, sentiment for it. It's a different paper, it's paper from a different suite. And this is actually my focus for the whole of January. I do have a class running on this. Uh, let me just see. I do have a class. so. If you would be interested in attending this, um, it's for the flower stamp set and a pack of those polished dots that I showed you earlier. Um, and then my gift to you are all the pieces that you need to make four cards and envelopes, the PDF and the YouTube link. And it will be a private YouTube video, so you can make it whenever you like. As soon as you've got your stamp set and everything, you can go and make it. And it says RSVP by January the 16th because I had to put a date in. But actually, you can order this throughout January and I would still honour the free card making pieces and, and everything. And it's $45. Now, the stamp set is 34 and the polished dots, I think they were 10.25. Let me just go back. The polished dots number three, yeah, are 10.25. So I'm only charging the, um, I'm not charging for the postage for it coming to me or anything. I'm only charging like the GST and then giving you all the free items as well. If you already have the set and the pieces and you just want to join in with the video and everything, it's $15 for the PDF, the video link and all the card making pieces. You just don't get the stamps or embellishments. Okay, so if you're interested in that, uh, just let me know. Now this is another card that I've made with this. This is for my casually crafting blog hop on Saturday. So just pretend you haven't seen it, but it's that same flower and I just cut down a little bit to make it sort of a bit more 3D. And again, it's a different paper, but this is the sentiment from here. This just a note one. And because it's my focus for January, next week I'll be making note cards and envelopes. Uh, as a little gift um, and using this set and my other Facebook lives I'll be using these as well just for January it is so pretty it took me a little while to work out how to do this and then I realized they'd sponged it uh, and they put it on with a sponge dauber so you just put your colors on and build them up and you can make green on there as well because when you look at it it's all one stamp I was thinking, how, how did they get this, these other colours? And then, silly me, then I just realised, oh, of course they've stamped. They've sponged and then stamped. So I'll probably do that in one of the Facebook Lives as well. Okay. Now this set I've sent for, this Daffodil Daydream, but it's not here yet. It's in the parcel that was meant to come yesterday. And I'm going to make use this for my Easter cards and my Mother's Day cards, because they're the two sentiments. But... I think it would be great as a little get well card, um, you know, birthday cards, lots of things. And you don't have to buy the dies. You can just use the stamped images as well. 
and you can always just easily cut those out. Like it's a really easy one to fussy cut round. So you don't have to have the dies for that. You do if you want to make these kind of flowers, but just for the basic daffodils, you don't need to. Oh, your catalogues haven't come in the mail, Jane. Now, a couple of the Alberta demonstrators in our group and one of the Saskatchewan demonstrators said they got theirs today. They've been a really long time. So I sent three, I think, by, the, by mail from Stampin' Up! And I know my ladies haven't got theirs. And uh, two of those are in Ontario. And they haven't got theirs yet, which is, it, it would probably have been easier for me to buy them and send them out myself. But because I was going to be away, I thought, oh no, I'll let Stampin' Up! send them. And I think they've been delayed a little bit. So, But it's worth waiting for. Okay. Now this one, I don't have it, um, but it does complement a lot of the sea-themed things in the annual catalogue. So I do have a lot of the sea things from the annual catalogue. And at the moment, they haven't seen ink. So once they've seen ink, then I might think, oh, that would go with it. This would go with it. But I do like the dies. I love that. I love that. To make the whole focus like a window um, for your card. So I might just get the dies. And this one I have ordered. Uh, of course, not here yet. Because I think for lots of really easy, simple masculine cards, that would be great. Now it does pair with another set over here that I've also ordered <laughs> uh, because that's where the, the little gates are and they've got these little beachy pebbles but remember those faux glass shapes that I showed you? They're the ones that I'm getting to go with it. I, I thought this was quite cute and really easy. Uh, I think that'd make a nice background. Yeah, Janet! <laughs> Seaside items and, and this one and this one and this paper <laughs> now I bought on here just the dies now the dies say thanks you are an amazing and you get two sets of the dies so you get the background and then the, the actual script and I bought those but I didn't buy the stamps but my friend Glenda who sent me her swap card and it just arrived today she does have the stamps and actually I like the stamps better in real life than in the catalogue. Here's the thank you. So she's just taken the S off the thanks to make thank you. She hasn't put a piece behind it. She's literally just cut out the script in that very, very pretty pink glimmer paper. And I love how this is like purples and pinks. I think she's probably sponged that onto the stamp but uh, it is really really pretty so and I, I do like the size of this I'm really glad that I ordered the dies but I really should have bought the set together so. okay now this one you've probably seen the Eden's garden set um, oh, I just had to turn the fire off there uh, because it came up as an early release before Christmas I did my um, social last week and we used all the paper and the little gems that went with it um, but you've probably seen this one already. Now this is the little one that I just showed you quickly. I do have the ribbon, um, I've ordered these and then this designer series paper, it almost looks like watercolour paper but it has little pictures and patterns on it already. And it's a six by six paper and I'm waiting, I have ordered it, but I'm waiting to see what it's like because I think it will make some really easy cards. And if you can cut that six by six down to three by three and get four little square images to go on the front of a card and then just put a sentiment on, I think that'll be a really nice one. So I, I've loved seeing all of these kind of things. A few demonstrators have made samplers with them and they look really nice so I will once I get them I will show them on my Facebook lives this little eclectic garden I don't have it's not kind of my thing um, I did like the sentiments but I'm not 
quite sure what to do with a bunch of radishes. Um, but again, there'll be demonstrators who make something with that and you'll think, wow, I need that set. Uh, and then there are a couple of new background stamps. Um, and background stamps, they fit the whole of um, a card front. They're actually a bit bigger even than that. This one that looks like the like Moroccan tiles, I've seen quite a lot of people cut them up like this or even just into squares to make little um, card fronts and things. And then this one goes with all of our seaside themes because it, it's waves. Okay. And this is another one that I don't have yet with all the little swallows. Uh, what I did like was the background here. You know when we make those cards and we've got all those half inch and one inch strips and I always tend to put them straight or in a herringbone. I like that as a background so I'm, I might be incorporating that with some of my scraps too. Um, another little um, deer set. I love that just for the background piece here, that whole die. Um, this is one of the new sets that's really popular as well. I've bought just the dies. I didn't want the stamps and I didn't want the paper. I've got lots of paper, but I've bought the dies. And um, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure I'm gonna make this one, but I will be doing lots with the hexagons. And a nice little sentiments, lots of different sentiments there. The first time that Stampin' Up! have done um, slimline cards and, and they do have matching envelopes for it. They are coloured envelopes and um, larger sentiments as well. I've seen a few people make this one but this one has been the most popular with lots of where this cuts the pieces out people have popped them back in maybe on a dimensional so that that really pops out and especially in the glitter paper so they seem really popular i've bought i haven't bought the dies i've just bought the stamp set See where it is. There we go. and i've bought that for journaling i like this piece for a lot of my background journaling and this to go over as like a franken mark on a, um, a stamp and again this little ticket here so you will see me using that on my sort of shabby chic and vintage and my journals okay. this one is quite popular too it's for simple stamping and although you can use it as you get more and more tools it is a great one for learning with um, it's inspired by Sam Hammond who's Poodles in the UK and it's her million dollar stamp set that she helped to design. So that's that's going to be a popular one too. I've seen quite a lot of these. I don't have it. It's called In The Moment but it is on my list to buy. I've seen some really nice techniques with this where it's um, done in embossed or coloured with chalk markers. So I will be getting that. You will see me using that later on. Oh, I'll have to speed up, won't I? Sorry, ladies. I'm chatting too long. This is another one of the super suites where you get two sets of things. Um, I do have, at the moment, this paper. And that's the paper that was on here. And the paper that I used for these cards. So you will see me using that a bit more. Um, I've got this stamp set on order and the dies, but really I think you could probably cut this out without having the, the dies as well. I love it for my journaling and look how pretty it is on my 12 by 12 scrapbook pages. I do like the little bee in the set and stamp for it, but I haven't ordered that one yet. I do have the little, um, the doilies, that's what I used on here. And they're white on the back, so they come in three colours. The Misty Moonlight, the Cinnamon Cider and the Basic Grey. But you can turn them over and you can sponge them to whatever colour you want. Or you can have them white. Oh, say hi to your little granddaughter for me, Jane. A oh, couple more of the big stamps. Little pun kind of stamp set little cute hedgehogs with a punch this time 
and a, a really nice celebration set. And then this is something that I bought. It's the masking pieces, um, where they're plastic. Let me just see where I put them. I thought I'd put them back in my box, but lucky, 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 no, I haven't. Um, where did I put them? Is it in here? No. I'm sorry, I can't see where they are. Um, but it's just the plastic masks. And what I've made is this card. So I used the two floral ones, these two. I started off and I sponged lightly over this flower and then I laid this flower on top and sponged a little bit darker. And then with this one, I used the leaves. And it comes out, it looks like you've made a piece of um, design series paper. And then what I did was I put it into the Tasteful Textiles embossing folder and just gave it that look sort of a bit like a canvas but really really pretty card and really easy to use okay so another little set with cactus in and another punch again somebody will bring out lots of punch art with that a sports set great for dads and teenage boys and things I actually will probably buy the dies because for journaling, they, they are superb. It has a ticket die, uh, well, it has three ticket dies and I make a lot of tickets, so that will be great for those. Another little sailboat set with a punch, a little wildlife set with a bear and the wolf. I haven't seen that in real life yet, but I, I bet I will, I bet it'll be popular. And then um, sort of a more masculine set that you can use for Father's Day. Remember when we had that one that, that was the hammer and the nails and the saw? This is the same kind of thing but with gardening. And I think that, that will go really fast too. And then cute little Viking set for the children. And last of all, this little for the record. And I don't know if the catalogue will pick this up but can you see how this one's embossed and it's sort of textured it looks just like one of the LPs that I grew up with and then the rest of the book has all of the sets again don't forget to look at these even if you don't have these stamp sets because they're always great layouts to copy I think once a month I'm going to do a case the catalogue kind of um, Facebook live or one of my YouTubes because there are so many great layouts in here and sometimes we spend hours just looking at a layout. So let's move on and quickly look at this. So this is the celebration catalog and these items are free with either $60 or $120 orders. So we have the little island vibes. I'm going to go through it quite quickly so I can still make a card for you. We have this designer series paper and I have this one. It coordinates with that daffodil set in the Ordinary Catalogue. I did show this at my unboxing video. Really, really nice paper. It's quite thick. It's not a thin paper. So This is one of the papers that I've made a card with that I'm just going to show you. But lots of different ones. You don't even have to have the daffodil stamp set to go with it. And actually, the card that I made, I didn't have the daffodil stamp set to go with it. I made this one. Let's just move that up there. I used one of the pieces of Design Series paper. Let's get that piece out. So it's this paper, and on the back, it's got this stripey pattern. And I'm going to put that there so you can see the sizings I used. It's on very vanilla cardstock with a piece of fluff on the back. And then I used Mossy Meadow. I just cut that quarter of an inch smaller. And then my piece of design series paper, I did just the same. Um, so it's cut at three and three quarters by five. And then from the bottom, I had a little piece left. It was, when I'd finished cutting these pieces, I had these pieces left. So I popped that along there. You could use a ribbon instead if you wanted. I just popped that across there 
just to give a little um, sort of a, a little focus for that. And let me find the stamp set that I used. I used this stamp set, which is one of the free sets as well. And I used this little one. And I just cut it out with the tailored tag. And for my tailored tag, that's this punch that's in the main catalog. What I do is I always keep one of these and I keep it just on my desk. And then what I'll do is I'll go across and see which stamp sets actually fit into it rather than stamping it and then punching it and finding it's too big, too small. So I always just keep one of these. So that's what I've done that on. And for the backing, all I did was cut the same shape out of the Mossy Meadow card. I cut it in half and stuck it on the back of the um, sentiment so it looks like it fits exactly it really doesn't it's only because I cut it in half okay. and then a few of the extra bits that I had left I just popped inside just so that it matched okay. so that's a, a really easy sort of card to make with the free paper okay pop that one away I have this little catching butterfly set on its way and I don't have the driving by but it, it would be on my list for another time. This is the paper, I did show it at my unboxing but at the moment I've lent it to another demonstrator who is making a class this weekend and hers hasn't arrived. So it um, coordinates with that rainbow bundle. It's really, really pretty. You, again, you don't have to have the rainbow bundle to be able to use this. So free with $60. Okay. And here's another designer series paper, six by six, that's free. I do have this one on the way. I really like this marble look on the blue and I think I'll be using that for a lot of my sea themed cards. And then the little otters. You've probably seen lots of cards with those. This set, which is the stamp set I just showed you, get that back out. So that's this set, and it comes with a design series paper pack as well. But this is like $120 to get this free. So either two level ones or one level two that you could get for that amount of money. And it's a really nice paper too. And I'm going to show you a card with this. Still got time haven't I? Yeah it's only quarter to seven so I'm going to show you a card with that one I'll just show you the rest of this little book quickly first and then I can show you my cards okay I do have this sentiment one coming as well this is another hundred and twenty dollars um, that you have to spend to get this for free but look at all those sentiments and all of the occasions that that goes with okay. And then if you have a party or you have a workshop order, you don't even have to have an in-person party. You can set up a workshop order online, give the code to your friends. And uh, if your workshop earns more than 375, they will send you this free Calming Camellia as well. That's, uh, I like the sentiments on there. I love the font and the fact that it's a mix of two fonts in all of them. And then at the very back of the book, you can see that there's a joining offer. Again, it's $135 Canadian. They'll give you $165 worth of any product that you want. And that's the time that most of my ladies buy something like the cut and emboss machine. And any two stamp sets from any catalog. Now there's no point getting a stamp set, you know, that's in the $24 range, because some of our stamp sets are up to $40. You might as well get two expensive ones. You also get a paper pumpkin in Canada and there's no G GST, no shipping and you belong to my team. If you pay PST in some of the provinces there is still PST due. Um, so you would know if you pay PST. But for here in Alberta there's, there's nothing extra. So, and the fact that you get two stamp sets doesn't have to be from the January to June catalogue. It can be for any of the catalogues. Okay, now let's find that card that I've made. Oh, and I've just lost. 
the one that I showed you with the daffodils it's disappeared somewhere here it is okay so I'm using this same layout I don't need that one I'm going to need this one okay so I'm going to pop this one on so it's the same same layout but we're going to use one of the designer series papers out of here and I'm going to use that one now a lot of the papers in here are stamped over you can see so it's a sort of a, a one plain color and then it's got the black outline on it I'll just find some of the others there so that's stamped as well and the one with the little birds this is my favorite but you can create that design as well yourself so I'm going to use the green piece like this the one with the stripes on the back and I've cut a four inch piece and can you see how I've already got these little images so what you need is that hello friend stamp set you need this stamp and one of the leaves and the, this little one here and I've already got them on my blocks so I've got my memento ink and if you ink up the flowers I've got a little piece of scrap paper here as well you will find that these match over here I think this is the right one I can't okay but can you see how it's just the right size for that you only need to turn it round a few times because the flowers go different ways okay so you can ink up and stamp all the flowers just gives it a little bit more depth and then the smallest of the leaves here it took me a while to work out which all the stamps were but the very smallest one it will ink up and stamp Let's see, let's do this one. And then this one with the three little berries or whatever they are, they match up with these. So you can get that same look. You don't have to do it in black. You could do it in a coordinating colour like a mossy meadow, like a darker green or something. And then let's move these pieces and let's make our card. I've, so I've got the pieces already sorted out. Let's pop that on there. Already sorted out. I've got my basic white base, which is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. I've got a backing piece of granny apple green, four by five and a quarter. And then a piece of my stamped paper. I've just cut that down to three and three quarters by five. And I've added that to the front as well. And this is going to go for our front here. But for our sentiment and everything, I'm going to use this little bird here. So I've got a piece of ribbon. And on this one, remember I put that little piece of paper. You could do the same on here. You could put a scrap. This isn't big enough, but you could put a scrap of card across instead. But I'm going to put ribbon on this one this time. Now, I do have another card to show you as well, but because we're running out of time, what I'll do is I'll put it onto the Facebook page and with all the sizings and everything. And uh, we'll, do, we'll do it that way. Okay. And I'm not going to have time to do all of it, I don't think. I might, ha I might have time to show you it. I might have time to finish this. Okay, so this I'm going to attach onto my base card here. So, hi Cheryl, how are you? It's nice to see you. How's the weather? You're in Manitoba, aren't you? I uh, hope it's nicer than it is here for you. We've just been looking at the um, January to June catalogue and making some things with the free celebration items. So we've made a basic little card using the daffodil paper that's free 
and at the moment we're using the um, Hello Friend paper and I've just been over and stamped with some of the oh, some of the stamps from the set with these and the littlest leaf and these little berries or whatever they are so we've just stamped over those and we're making sort of the same card as this one just with a few extras instead of a little piece of paper we're just putting a piece of ribbon on yeah I thought you were in Manitoba uh, it's mild oh nice it's mild here right now it's um sort of plus three feels like minus five but last week was minus 46 and it was brutal so cold now this is from the um that color coloring contours and the scalloped contours dies so i was going to do all of this separately but because i'm running out of time i've already had this stamped up and i've used this little happy birthday sentiment the same as we did on the first card and then this little birdie here and i'm just going to quickly color him in i've got my blends to color with I'm just throwing them all over the table and so I'm literally only going to put this on here and I've made a little bow with some more of the ribbon and I'm just going to pop this on the side as well just on here but they're really easy to colour in these images and you really you don't have to colour them in if you don't want to but you could use watercolour pencils you could use your stamping blends lots of different ways to colour them in so uh, let's see, let's colour that little birdie in. Right. Remember that if you're colouring with these blend pens, it does go through and show on the other side so you can see it. So if you're going to be able to see the back of your paper, you know, maybe watercolour pencils or cut out another piece of card and glue it onto the back. I've just got pool party here for this little bird and I know that my dark pool party is on its way out I've been using it a lot this week and it's not it's not working too well so to make this a little bit lighter what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ink lifter and just take a little bit off his tummy and that way it will make it look a little bit darker It will just remove a little bit of the ink and then I'll go over with my light again just on his wings I'm not spending a lot of time on him as cute as he is okay and then I'm going to use my uh, which one is this the light so saffron and I'm just going to do the middle of the flowers and a little tiny bit I'm not going right to the edges Just a little bit like that. Okay. And the only other colour I'm going to put on is for that little twig that he's standing on. And this is my dark so saffron. Uh, I'm going to use the light so suede. Let's start again. It's dark soft suede and light soft suede. And I'm going to use the light one with the little bullet end. Um, I think this is one of the nicest papers that we've had for celebration in a while. I think it's going to be so versatile. Okay, let's pop those in. And I'm just going to put him on with a few dimensionals. Oh, I tell you what, let's find, let's find that granny apple green. Because our background is granny apple green, I'm going to do just a little bit of... Um, background on this let's find another piece of paper so i'm going to have that little dotty piece again stamp off and i'm just going to put some just some other little bits on we don't need them to be really dark it would just give a it would just sort of match in with the paper then wouldn't it with that granny apple green coloring there we go Just add a little bit to it. Now let's put our dimensionals on. Take those back 
things off. And just pop that over the ribbon and I'm going to get a little glue dot and put our little bow on and I'll get my ribbon scissors so that we can cut that down as well. Let's make that into a better bow. I think I pulled it a bit tight when I was making it, but that's okay. I'll pop this on here. And I do want those tails to be quite long, but not quite as long as that. Oops, put you over the top. Okay. I'm gonna cut it this way today. bit shorter. Let's cut that bit off again. There we go. And then let's find a couple of little rhinestones to go on. I think I'll use my basic rhinestones. And I'm going to put these in the middle of the flowers. Oops. I would if it would come off. There we go. There's one. So that's a quick and easy little card just using the free designer series paper and the free stamp set and we stamped over that one piece of paper just to give a little bit more depth and here's our second card that we made well this way around our other card that we made using the free daffodil paper and a few of those little polished dots so you can see there's lots and lots of free things that you could use even if you don't have the stamp set it doesn't matter because you can use all the things that you already have I used my tailored tag and um, just very vanilla base and a little bit of mossy meadow card and it matches in perfectly so you don't always have to have tons and tons of things make sure that if you get celebration items you use your other stamps as well don't wait to just think, oh, I haven't got the daffodil set, I shouldn't get that paper. Of course you should. It's something that, you know, you can use with any sentiments at all. So, that's the, uh, that's all of the things that I had to show you, I think. Uh, here was my sample card using those masks for sponging. The one for my casually crafting blog this weekend using Flowing Flowers, which is my stamp set for this, this whole month. My one that I put on um, Facebook and YouTube last week using this paper from... Oh, I didn't show you where that was from, did I? Let's go back and find that catalogue. Because I don't think I showed you where that paper was from. So, again, it's one of those where I've only got the paper this heart and home paper. I don't have the other items yet, they just haven't arrived yet, but it was from this paper. And it was a card where you could see the front and the back of the designer series paper. So you didn't have to choose one or the other, you could look at either of them. And then the card from my friend using the, the thank you dies. And, oh, another card uh, that I forgot to show you using this same stamp set, this Friendly Hello free set. This is from Glenda as well. And you see how she's used just a little bit of the paper and stamped the little images here. And she's run this through the embossing folder, cut out a little separate piece for her sentiments. And again, for a free stamp set, that is brilliant. It's such a nice one. Once I get more of my swaps in, I will come back and show you some more. But that's all I have at the moment. So thanks for joining me. Oh Jane, I'm so glad I've inspired you with a catalogue. It is so nice. So... <laughs> yeah, Janet, you do really need lots and lots of stuff. <laughs> so, but you know, 
when you get stamp sets like this and the designer series paper for just spending $60, uh, it doesn't have to match everything. You just get you know, the paper and use the sentiments you've already got because you know what stamping up's like. You can mix and match so many things. Everything seems to work with everything. Okay, ladies, well, I'm going to go and cook supper for my husband because I'm sure by now he's just about ready to chew his arm off. It's seven o'clock and I promised him supper just before six. <laughs> so, but then I said, oh, no, I can't do it yet. I have to go, I have to go see my ladies and make my cards. So I will see you all again next week. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. I so missed you during December and it was lovely just to catch up. Thanks everybody. Take care. Bye bye.